Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be assembling one of our 383 small block Chevys. This engine is actually going into one of Randy Shear's hot rods. He has a YouTube channel called Auto Auction Rebuilds where he buys auction cars, restores them, rebuilds them, and gets them back on the road. And he reached out to us to get one of our 383 small block packages so he can run it at Power Tour this coming year. And so we're going to do a little video build on his engine. Starting off, this is our own Smetting Performance small block Chevy engine block. We made a few upgrades to the standard GM design that I want to show you guys. The first and most user friendly is the fact that we now have blind cast cylinder bolt holes so none of these bolt holes go into the coolant jacket below. You can run standard thread lubricant on them, no need for sealer, no need to worry about any internal oil leaks. Second, we run a priority main oiling system in this engine block. In a traditional small block Chevy, oil comes through the pump, through the filter, and then goes to the cam tunnel first and then goes down to the mains of the crankshaft and the rod journals. We reversed it, priority main, so now the oil comes out of the filter and goes straight to the main journal, lubricates the crankshaft and the rods, and then goes up to the cam. Another th good thing we added is the provision to run a thrust plate and a full hydraulic roller lifter suite. In the bottom end of the engine block, we did add about 15 pounds of iron to GM's base design, increasing structural rigidity in the critical areas. The cylinder sleeves are lengthened a little bit to support the piston with these stroker combos, and the main webbing and all is a little bit thicker. The rotating kit for this engine uses our own in-house design Smetting Performance crankshaft. It's a 3.8 stroke, 4340 forged hardened steel crank with a one-piece rear main seal and we run a Teflon style rear main seal. These are really nice. They actually don't have a spring behind them and it's made out of a Teflon type material. And what's interesting about Teflon seals is as they warm up in the engine, they actually shrink and get tighter. So these are virtually leak proof. We also have our own 5140 forged steel Smetting Performance I-beam rod with an 8740 alloy 12 point screw. And these are our Smetting Performance Hyperutectic Pistons that are made for us by United Engine Machine. And I like to run a Hyperutectic Piston in these 383s. One, they're not making a million horsepower, so they don't need a forged piston. And the Hyper is nice because it has such low thermal expansion, we can run a really tight piston to wall clearance and have a lot of good skirt life on the piston. Because we have that thrust plate, all of our camshafts have a step nose on them. So we have a plate that then bolts to the block and goes on the cramp camshaft like this. And that eliminates the need to run a button on the front of the camshaft that then rides against the inside of your timing cover. The camshaft we're going to run in this engine is our 236-244 hydraulic roller camshaft. The base 383 Extreme 450 horse package comes with a 231-236. But since Randy is going to use this at Power Tour, he wants it to sound really aggressive, make really good top end power, so we stepped him up to our Eliminator camshaft, so this combo should make about 480 horsepower and almost 480 foot-pounds of torque. So now I'm going to pass the camera off to Shay, our shop foreman. He's going to do a time lapse with you guys of assembling the short block of this engine, and I'll see you in just a second.
short block is fully assembled. If you actually already have a set of good cylinder heads from a previous engine, you can order these motors just like this with everything installed inside of it. Now it's time to assemble the top end of the motor. For this we're going to run our Smetting Performance 180cc cylinder heads. These are our own in-house designed head with matching valve springs to go with this camshaft. We're going to use a hydraulic roller lifter system and our full roller rocker aluminum rocker arms. So now it's time to take all these parts and finish this engine build.
And there it is, all finished up and ready to dyno. We're gonna install a Holly 650 CFM carburetor and one of our electronic distributors in this thing. We're gonna go to the dyno room and let's see what it does. Okay, we are done with the dyno session on Randy's 383 Extreme. It's now in the crate, final detailed, looking super sick. Here is the curve of this engine. So it made 482 horsepower and 493 foot pounds of torque. Super broad torque curve all the way from 3000 to 6000 RPM. And that should be a killer power combo. And so yeah, this is his motor. It's got the fuel pump on it. We have our own custom fuel line that we make that runs up to the carburetor. The distributor is already timed. The carburetor is already jetted and tuned. And all in all, sweet package. So really quick, I want to show some other engines that are in the shop. This is one of our 427 cubic inch small block Chevys. This motor made about 600 horsepower. And here's a really good example of some of the different levels of customization that we can do on an engine package. So he sent us a really cool blue paint color. We did a chromed intake manifold, polished fin valve covers. So we can sell them as complete as you want them or if you already have a carburetor and distributor, we can also sell you a complete motor just like that. A couple different valve cover options. We can do carburation or the new Sniper 2 EFIs. And if you already have a top end kit, we can also do just a short block. Either as you see it here with no camshaft, no nothing, or fully sealed up with a balancer, cam and roller lifters, oil pans already on. So lots of different la levels and layers of customization that we here at Smetting Performance offer. But this is Randy's Beast. It is going to ship out of here today and start heading up to Oklahoma. Thank you guys so much for watching this video series on the 383 Extreme. I'll see you next time.